I'm gonna. I, I, I don't want to shake this up too much, but I want to try. Here, I'll show. I'll show some people just so you can see what I'm talking about. So the other day on the live stream, Simon and I were talking about how my webcam was poor quality and everyone was saying on all the videos when I did with Aaron and Simon that my webcam was bad. So I asked everyone, hey, you guys want to help me out to get a, a, a webcam? Go right ahead, be my guest. And y'all came through. Now, I went on Lazada right after that show and... Sorry, I have to do that. And found... Where? That's what we ended up with. So, the camera that Simon has is a 4K camera, which I didn't need. It was very expensive. Um, he swears by it. He says it's a great, great camera. But I was just thinking, well, I just need something like with 1080p where do i cut the tape here and oh i'll get there in a second folks okay so i went on lazada and i looked up the best camera for 2021 and they said that even though this camera was designed back in 2012 that it's still the best rated camera for the price um, for 2021. So here we are guys and it's also at a third of the price of the 4k camera so everyone that helped out with the the uh, super chats the membership the patreons all of that helped out and got me this and so now when I do live streams like this with the StreamYard application you get a better picture like this instead of one like this. All right. Oh, I love that. I love that beer can echo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not in the big room. All right. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to. All right. I'm gonna, we're still recording. I'll put this. Yeah. It still cracks right. that beer with authority. I'll tell you that. Respect my Cheers. authority. Cheers. Cheers. Are you still drinking your uh, VIP beer, Beer Lao? I am drinking my Beer Lao Dark. I beer Lao. Two. New one was not going to be enough. I got in so many arguments over Lao because the country is named Laos. Yep. It's pronounced Laos. And I used to argue it's pronounced Lao because I was thinking of the beer and of the people. The people <laughs> are Lao. The beer is Lao, but the country is Laos. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually watched uh, There's There's that one dude and, and you know youtube dude uh now and lao and I, I watch his videos because he he's you know he's he's there he's doing a good job but he had a, a one of his episodes had this discussion and it was hilarious <laughs> with all the different yeah. variants of hey, lao versus laos and basically everything in every description is lao except when you talk about the country <laughs> exactly and <laughs> it was it was great so some of your trips uh, i put the question how much so since you've been there before and you're there now, what is the pricing? Because you told us earlier you got a very good price on the taxi from the airport to the hotel. Right, right. Um, I've been to Phuket uh, many times over the last decade or, or so or more, however long it's been coming here. And, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the pricing structure in this area and whatever. So... I'm pleasantly surprised, especially about that taxi thing. You know, it's everybody has their opinions on the taxi. Who can? So the taxi thing was my first shocker on price. Okay. Um, but before that, when I was home and I had to do the pre-book of the hotel as part of the um, part of the sandbox that you're required to do is to prepay a hotel. Um, I booked them directly through the hotel I'm at. I booked directly through Facebook Messenger and I found them on Agoda. I know what the price was on Agoda. I liked their page, and they immediately waved at me on Messenger. So I hit them up and said, hey, 
I'm coming out for sandbox this date to this date. I see your price on a goat is this much. Is this correct? And they came back and said, yes, you can book it directly with us and we'll beat the price. So they beat the price by one dollar, <laughs> one dollar night, which I am complaining. I was I didn't even ask them to beat the price. I don't care. It was fine. But they beat it by one dollar and sent me a PayPal link, uh, payment link, and I booked it through them. And the hotel itself, it's, it's um, there's a main hotel in the front with a pool, three, four story, three story thing. And in the back, they have some brand new, small, I guess you call them kind of like duplexes, six of them in a row. And each one has a, a pool on the second floor, three stories. Well, I'm the only one in this building. So I had, they told me the pool is entirely yours and nobody's staying here the entire time you're staying. So oh, there's a guy wow. next there's a guy next door to me in the building next door. So he has his own pool. I'm in this building. I have my own pool. There's nobody next door. And I don't know about down the road. There was somebody next door for a while and they left. So basically we have our own big private pool villa, basically. And they said they're not gonna check anybody in. So I know what this room would have cost normally to be able to step out my door straight into the pool, or if you go to a place that has a private pool villa or whatever. Um, and I know what their rates are here because I looked it up. I looked all the stuff up. The, it is right now at about 50% cost. I know it's low season and that's not uncommon, but I mean, it's ridiculously low. And I'll, I'll give you the hotel price. Some of the other stuff I'll, I won't, but the hotel being 50% off, I'm paying 1250 baht a night for yeah. a brand new room. And it's brand new. They said this wing opened in July. Brand new room, brand new wing, brand new everything, and my own pool. Yeah, up in Bangkok, 1200 Twelve hundred baht a night is just a room in a building. I mean, here, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I don't want to shake this up too much, but I want to try. Here, I'll show. I'll show some people just so you can see what I'm talking about. Cool. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. And the next door, he has his own pool. I have my own pool, and we have a garden down there. So, Infinity pools. Yes. People don't know that Thailand love their infinity pools. Yes, they do. And <laughs> it is it is it is pretty well done here. So hotel price is substantially less than I'm used to paying even during low season. My taxi price has been pretty cheap. My I rented a I know what motorbike rentals are and I do it all the time when I come down here. And I usually just get whatever cheap motorbike I can. Went to the shop right down the street, and I was like, ooh, it'd be nice to get a PCX for once, because I always, I never get a PCX, right? And I, I go yeah, to the PCX. Too expensive. Eh, it's too expensive. It's half the price. And I didn't ask. I didn't, I didn't bargain nothing. I just said, hey, I'd like it for a week. Half the price. So I'm like, oh, okay, really? Take it. So, I, you know, he's such a nice guy. I wasn't going to take it for a long time. I was going to do a day here, a couple of days there, and I'm like, God, forget it. It's so inexpensive. I'm just going to take it the entire stay, whether I write it this day or not. So I just printed it for the whole time. Do um, you think? That, do you think that you've had any price gouging at all? Like walking around, did someone try to get double instead of normal? No. Restaurants or restaurants are pretty much the same. I, I think haven't. that's the uh, the whole. I think that's a, the Buddha atmosphere where, you know, what comes around goes around and now is not the time to try to, you know, they used to say, oh, Phuket is so full of scams, but you haven't, I mean, I, I seriously haven't seen anyone trying to scam anybody, but there's, I don't know about that. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you hear stuff, maybe there's something going on, but I personally, I haven't seen it. So I, I, I can't, I, I can't tell you if anything's going on up there. I was out. What was I at? Oh, I was in Kata Beach of all places. And I went and parked the motorbike because I saw actually a good handful of people on the beach in the middle of a, I think it was a Saturday or Friday day. And I was like, hey, there's a bunch of people on the beach out here. So I went and parked the bike and I go walk walk out to the to the wall and sit down just to watch. And there's a bunch of people out there learning how to, to stand up paddleboard, a big group. Oh, and I was like, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. And then I look out in the water and I see two jet skis sitting in the water thinking to myself, I wonder. I, I, I just, I, I go, yeah. I wonder what they're doing out here. And I mean, it, it, I saw somebody riding one. I couldn't really tell if it was, you know, uh, the owner or if it's somebody out on it. But, you know, I, I don't know. No, it's funny because 
Yeah, it's funny. As soon as I mention anything scam, everyone's mind goes to jet skis. <laughs> we, we've all we've all heard the stories of the jet ski. I I haven't personally known. I don't know anybody that's ever no. been taken advantage of. But we all know the stories on the internet, so we all think jet skis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So for, you know, for like for pricing, so far my my I've only taken one taxi ride. So my one taxi ride's been great. Um, my motorbike price has been amazing. My hotel price has been amazing. And the boat tour with Five Star Marine was at a, a 50% discount promotion going on, which was amazing because, to be honest with you, I don't think I could afford it um, by myself had it not been for that promotion because you know, it, it was a huge boat. <laughs> so. Um,